Google just released their Gemini paper, and it's incredible. I have read the entire paper in full, and will be showing you all the things Gemini Ultra can do with real examples. We will also discuss its model architecture and controversies. Let's start. I am a blogger, and the most standout capability of Gemini to me is interleaved text and image generation. Gemini is able to generate a blog post with images closely related to the text with a single prompt. Moreover, the dog images show high levels of consistency across all images. This would be game-changing for content creation. Besides making some smaller AI article writers go bust, it is also kinda ironic that it is Google's model that will do auto-generated AI spam best. Gemini would also be great at GeoGuessr. It correctly identified that the object in the image is Empire State Building, even with visual distortion in the photo. The model also guessed the precise location of the person taking the photo. It can also correctly identify plant and animal species. Once I get hands-on of Gemini Ultra, I would like to test it against less popular images of flora and fauna of different regions to see how well it does. Models like GPT-4 and Falcon have already demonstrated common sense reasoning, but Gemini takes it a step further. The model is able to understand the relationships represented in the graphs and reason about them in a multilingual setting. It's also pretty good at analyzing charts and infographics to give you key insights. Code generation was teased in the demo and in the paper, we get a better example. Gemini is understand user requirements to create working code. Apart from these, Gemini is good at spotting relationships between objects. It needs hints though. Moreover, it does well on maths, particularly calculus and geometrical problems. Surprisingly, it can also understand humor in memes, so our AI overlords might troll us with our own memes in the future. Now let's discuss model architecture and training. Gemini comes in three variants, Nano, Pro, and Ultra. We in the public have only seen Nano and Pro so far. Gemini models build on top of transformer decoders. They are trained to support 32K context length. The neat part is that Gemini models are natively multimodal, as they are trained jointly across text, image, audio, and video from the start. This is different from GPT-4. One open question is whether this joint training can result in a model which has strong capabilities in each domain, even when compared to models and approaches that are narrowly tailored to single domains. Google used their own TPUs to train Gemini models on a dataset that is both multimodal and multilingual. Their pre-training dataset uses data from web documents, books, and code, and includes image, audio, and video data. The data was filtered for safety and quality. Gemini has not been without its nitpicks and controversies. Google has been a little shady in the way it has presented Gemini to the world. In the demo, the responses were obviously sped up and they had used several advanced prompting techniques, like chain of thought prompting to get better responses. In the paper, Google is also not very detailed when it comes to training dataset, so their performance beckon marking and training section leave a lot to be desired still. Also, I'm disappointed by the lack of a publicly accessible endpoint for Ultra. It is their most hyped model, but all we know about it is through Google's own reports. Even a limited, paid access would have been nice. I have given the link to Gemini paper and technical report in description. If you're interested in no-hype coverage of AI and changing business landscape, consider subscribing. Thanks, and have a great day.